Damn, all right. Wow, where do I even start with this? I don't even know where to start. He said, uh... What was the first line? What's up, everybody? I am Jules the Buddha Monk. And I'm Trix the Hooligan, and we are Straw Hat Dynasty. And welcome to the, the Straw, Straw Hat, Hat Show. Show. And we are back with our boy Tom McDonald in one of his most critically acclaimed songs or critically criticized. This is Tom McDonald's Snowflakes. And I tell you, this guy knows how to pick his titles. This guy knows how to pick his first lines of the song. I'm, I'm gonna go on a I'm gonna go on a loop here and just say that the first line of this song is gonna say some wild shit. And he's definitely not gonna waste any time. A beat intro. He's gonna get right into it as he likes to normally do. So let's just check out Snowflakes, man. Let's just see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> let's see what happens. This is Tom McDonald's Snowflakes. Snowflakes. Let's go. If you lie to the government, they'll put you in prison. But when they lie to all of us, it's called being a politician. You think taking guns away will save our kids from the killings? But you're pro-choice. Abortion kills way more children. If America's so terrible and racist, it probably isn't safe to encourage immigration. Just saying, all the contradictions are embarrassing. You know who hates America the most? Americans. Trigger warnings. You Damn, all right. Wow, where do I even start with this? I don't even know where to start. Something about people lying to you, but when we do it, it's okay. It's called politics. I don't know. I'm just like, damn, this guy, man. If you lie to the government, they'll put you in prison. But when they lie to all of us, it's called being a politician. If you lie, lie to, to the, the government, government they'll, they'll put, put you in prison. prison. When you lie to all of us, it's called being a politician. politician. Damn. 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 First oh. line, Tom, man. Politicians are definitely known to lie their asses off just to get into office. But if you lie to them, you get thrown in prison. <laughs> Crazy. You think taking guns away will save our kids from the killings? But you're pro-choice. Abortion kills way more children. <laughs> Taking guns away will save our children, but with your pro-choice, you're killing, killing more children. You're killing more children. Now that's a that's a that's a touchy subject. You know the whole my choice, my body, abortion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and we're not here to talk about that, yeah. but we are here to voice. I guess how he feels and I'm guessing he is against abortion. He's definitely against abortion uh, when he speaks like that. He's basically saying he's on the side where he believes that at conception, the child is a child, a fetus is a child, and that when you kill it, you're killing a child. So he's just saying that the amount of abortions that happen here in America so high that is way more than school shootings or people who might be scared of guns on the street you know statistically i don't know what the stats are on that but it sounds about right i mean you know a lot of people get abortions yeah it's you know it's a fairly normal procedure these days and uh you know i have to comment tom's swag on this one he's always <laughs> very elaborate with his outfit choices and his dresses i'm loving the bucket hat i like bucket hats well, apparently yeah and he has the fake woke claim uh written on i'm guessing this was after fake woke mm. probably capitalizing and dropping some easter eggs on her ass mm. and he's always like kind of mixing in a bunch of like ice and bling in in the mix, which I think that's just his way of flexing his money, which, you know, he's entitled to do. If America's so terrible and racist, it probably isn't safe to encourage immigration. Just saying, all the contradictions are embarrassing. You know who hates America the most? Americans. Trigger warnings used to be on TV for seizures, and now they're everywhere to protect millennials' feelings. He, she, his, him, hers, them, they, screw a pronoun, because everyone's a retard these days. Here I'm preaching at the pro- Oh, he, he dropped the, the hard R. Hard R. The R, hard, tar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he also he goes on to say, you know who hates America the most? Americans. And this I will talk about because I agree with him. There's too many people in this country, and you said it in our last vid in one of our Tom McDonald videos. Yeah. There's too many people in this country who live in this country and constantly bash this country like it's the worst country ever. But hey, you know, go somewhere where... The government doesn't even control the co the country, but gangs and terrorist parties control the country. Man, you'll be singing America's praises real quick. You know what I mean? And like, you know, sure, every country's got its shortcomings, especially our country. But mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. we pretty much have the freedom to say what we want, do what we want, live how we want. I think this beginning, first few bars, he's just pretty much 
drawing a bunch of parallels and showing, I guess, the contradictions or hypocrisies in these beliefs through the way he's wording everything. Like he said, uh, if America's so racist, it's probably best that we don't encourage immigration. Where he's like, you know, we're like encouraging people to come and live in America, but we're saying it's so racist. So why would we want these people who are not American to come and live here? If America is so racist, yeah. So you so know, he's, he's basically saying America is not as racist as you as you think it is. And I think this girl in the video is a famous YouTuber who is it's a trans. trans. Yeah, that's what I was gonna trans say too. YouTuber, which is int interesting. But I would assume if, if she's if she's in his video, then she probably see, feels see, 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 I use the word she because I respect what she wants. Yeah. All right. But if she's in his video, she's probably like a right-leaning trans person. They I, exist. I, I, they exist, yeah. 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 What's up, everybody? We just wanted to take the time out to say thanks for watching the reaction. We also wanted to take the time out to introduce you to who we are and what we do. We're Straw Hat Dynasty, a twin breakdancing rap duo from NYC. We've worked years now in cultivating our ability to make quality music, quality music videos, breakdancing, and overall entertaining. We pour everything we have into every song, every video, in order to provide you with the best entertainment experience possible. So if you would take the time to check out some of our original music, our content, and follow us on all platforms, we would super appreciate it. We're just two brothers following our dreams, and we appreciate your support as you join us on this life journey. Thanks so much. Now back to the reaction. She's kind of cute too. Them, they screw up. Yeah, she, she's she's kind of cute. She's pretty cute. Yeah. Pronoun, cause everyone's a retard these days. Right. Here preaching at the protest that hatred's the problem, but hating straight men, white folks, and Christians is common. Coca-Cola telling people they should be less white. They preach intolerance, but if you disagree, they fight. There's a race war here. Elections based on fear. Black lives only matter once every four years. Soldiers died for this country, and every one of us benefits. Give welfare to the bums and forget about the veterans. Black folks and white. Oh, he's coming in hard, man. He said black lives only matter every four years. And you know what? You know, that BLM talk and all these, you know, activists really come out hard during election time. And then depending on who gets elected during the party, they kind of scatter and diminish real quick throughout the presidency until the next election. I'm not going to lie. I think he's referring more to the actual politicians themselves saying like, you know, it's kind of like when Pride Month comes and all the businesses start painting rainbows in their in their uh, shops. It's like kind of like every four years when a new president's being elected, you know, all of a sudden now Black Lives Matter is being something that's being preached by these politicians to gain that black vote. Well, that's what I just said. Oh, I thought you were referring to like how these how the Black Lives Matter movement is, is they themselves is now well, more I, prominent I, 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 around no, election time. Active, no, I'm talking about the politicians. I mean, they go hand in hand, really. If you really think about it, they go hand in hand. You know what I mean? It's the politicians pandering to the movement and the movement trying to elect the politician. So like they would both come out at the same time. And then, you know, this set is wonderfully creative, you know, it's clear they're in just a, like a studio with like all black walls and they just put up things that just relate to the topic of what they're saying mm -hmm. tom equals trash uh the no smoking sign around tom mcdonald yeah i also think that um you know we're, we're trying to preach not hatred but like literally people are pushing uh -huh. hatred upon christians and white people and probably right-leaning people you know coca-cola is telling you how you should be less white you know and if you don't agree they want to fight yeah and and i gotta say it's really messed up man it's really messed up like i gotta agree with him on this you know there's a lot of like white hate going around you know what i mean for white people in general you know and like referring to his song white boy you gotta make a distinction man there's people who are racist and trash and quite frankly they're assholes and then there's people who are just white like mm. you know what i mean like why are we trying to pit each other against each other we should be coming together you know anyways country and every one of us benefits give welfare to the bums and forget about the veterans black folks and white folks divided by the news but we are all the same we are red white and blue ashamed to be american okay that's cool because honestly we are all ashamed of you too y'all are so fake oh no the forecast said that there'd be snowflakes, whoa. 
You can make us see it your way No way Gasoline and propane More flames Oh no No more snowflakes They set us up I'm gonna just go ahead and say I don't really like this hook. Sorry. No, but it does remind me of the fake woke hook. Uh, a little bit. A little bit, you know. He's no, got, no, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. And like the first half of the hook is kind of just like a statement. The second half has like a little bit of a melody in it. I don't really like the hook. I get where he's coming from, though. Yeah, yeah, I get where he's coming from. Forecast, a snowflake, snowflakes, just yeah. a way of saying like you know, like a you know, you know, somebody who's easily offended or you know, social justice warrior mm -hmm. things, things. I and get it. And then you got the potential tranny in there being all sexy. I think, right? Yeah. Set us up to fail, that's what they built the system for Put an ammunition shop across the street from a liquor store Empowering women used to be different than this before The role models got OnlyFans or dance on a stripper pole Screw it, I ain't tripping, I don't mean to be mean But if our children are the future, then our future is bleak They take an Adderall to focus, hit McDonald's to eat They're addicted to phones and they take Xanax to sleep He's just basically saying like people are being set up for failure And to be controlled Got the ammunition store next to the liquor store it's not a good combination to have somebody drunk close to a place where you can buy guns and then saying empowering women used to be different, but now the empowering women are the ones who have OnlyFans. Exactly. And criticizing the fact that, you know, girls who have OnlyFans should not be role models for little girls because they're using basically sex or sexual sexualizing themselves to make money and that can only go so far and that's just not the most positive thing to do. I gotta agree with him on that one. I, and I mean, think about it. you if you had a daughter, would you want that? Do you want your daughter to have an OnlyFans? You I know, mean, guys you just, throwing you know, money at her when she, she's, guys throwing money at her when she's just, you know, performing acts like uh, of that caliber. Yeah, and then um, kids are taking Adderall to focus and then taking Xanax to go to sleep. Basically just- And having a diet of fast food. Yeah, it's basically the pharmaceutical companies are just, you know, just doctors are prescribing kids these pills to deal with, you know. There's so many toxic addi addictions coming from every yeah. corner. He's saying our, our future for our youth is not looking good. Yeah, he's saying they're basically. Yeah, yeah. They're taking Adderall to focus, hit McDonald's to eat. They're addicted to phones and they take Xanax to sleep. They blurred the lines dividing communism and democracy. In 2021, we paint the Patriots as Nazis. The men playing women's sports get trophies for winning. Like, great, let's celebrate a man for beating some women. If you're black, your life matters. You're supposed to embrace it. If you're rich or you're smart, then you're probably Asian. If you're gay, then you're brave. All of that I'm okay with. But if you're white, the stereotype is you are a racist. Blaming it's a lot of uh, repetition of ideas going on in his songs and statements. You know, he goes on to talk about a bunch of stereotypes. If you're rich or smart, you're Asian, brave, and something else, you're think probably gay. gay. You know, and then he goes on to say, hey, but if you're, if you're white, you're a racist. He used the word women and rhymed it with women, which is okay to do if you change the in-between in rap. And the idea here is he was giving out the idea, you know, well, you have men beating women in competitions, basically saying trans men, men, trans women, trans sorry, women, yeah, yeah. and natural born women sports, yeah, and just beating them. And then we're praising men for beating some women in this, you know, referring to all these controversial issues. That's one thing I'll have to agree with him on. I am, I am not for uh, trans athletes, uh, at least, at least, at least natural born men competing against natural born women. It's just. <laughs> there's, uh, a, there's a reason why there's there's two separate categories, you know, just biologically we're, we're built different. There's been so many studies already about how, you know, they took like, I don't know, one of the worst performing men in a sport and put them against a top performing woman and they're still outperforming them. Still you outperforming know? them, though. It's just, it's the, just, the truth is the truth. It is what it is. I believe a high school soccer team outclassed like a, a, like a professional a, a, an Olympic team. women's team. Or, yeah. or like a US national women's team. Yeah, so it's like, you know, I just, I can't, I can't, especially in the fighting sports, then it just gets dangerous. Then it's just sad. You know, it's you sad. Know? Why would you be hyped about a man beating physically up, beating, beating up, up a, a woman? woman? Like, you know, it's just, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. It's not fair. You know, and then there's you know? the whole Leah Thomas incident. You know what I mean? Leah Thomas, 
you know, she won. She broke like records and she was like like one of like the worst swimmers in like her natural male division, then went to the female and all of a sudden she's on top. And she actually tied with somebody and they wouldn't give that person who tied with her the trophy or allow her to stand on the podium because they wanted to parade Leah Thomas and get virtue signaling points. And it's just all a mess, man. I, I can't, I can't agree. Can't, can't do, do it. it. Twin Sands. Gay, then you're brave. All of that I'm okay with. But if you're white, the stereotype is you are a racist. Blaming capitalism like that's the reason things are tough. While you tweet from an iPhone and sip on a Starbucks. You're supporting what you stand against. You don't think you are, but a Percocet addict don't donate money to pharma. Damn, dog, We're all afraid to speak the truth. And the more afraid we get, the more we hate the ones who do. You're ashamed to be American? Okay, that's cool. Because honestly, we are all ashamed of you too. Y'all are so... Okay, so using the classic rap technique of keeping the same ending line to to tie your whole thing together oh you're ashamed of america okay that's cool well we're all ashamed of you too and that line was hilarious where he said you know you're trying to like talk about how righteous you are or whatever while you're while you're sipping on a, or how pressed people are no you're trying to say like you speak against capitalism oh okay, you're, that's what he said but you're sipping on a starbucks you know what i mean <laughs> like you're just you're just you're just a consumer yourself you know yeah, what i mean man. Everyone, everybody's a consumer like, Anyone who bitches about capitalism in America is so ass backwards because if you're buying any product that is a big chain company, which most of you probably are, you're just you're just contradicting yourself. It's just and that's just a fact. Yeah. So, you know, I mean, you can have your qualms about capitalism and think there's a better system. There's nothing wrong with that. You know? Yeah. Um, but um, but he, he's talking about the people who are bitching about that, who are, who are engaging in capitalism. Yeah, yeah, that's what he's talking about. I mean, if you know, if you're a fucking Mormons, Mormons, you like a Mormon, you said Quaker. <laughs> you say Quaker? Isn't the Quaker a Mormon? Are you talking about the, cause the Quaker just, Oats guy? The Quaker Oats guy? Did you just make up a whole race? A whole? <laughs> you made up a whole like category of people called Quakers because the Quaker Oats guy looks because he's a Mormon. No, you're thinking about Hasidic Jews. No, the Quaker Oaks guy is a Mormon. Oh, he's a Mormon? I think so. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Whatever. Yo, leave us in the comments below. Is the Quaker Oaks guy a Mormon? Is he a Mormon? Is I guess he, what I'm trying what to say is, is if you're like some type of Amish. Amish. Kind of, oh, he's Amish. Amish. I said he's a Mormon. <laughs> I guess he's not a Mormon. He might not even be Amish. He maybe just be a guy that they might, capitalism might just want us to believe that Amish people are making us our Quaker Oaks. Uh. They, they're great. I feel good about Amish people making my Quaker oats. Anyways, if you're an Amish person, you know, there you go. Screw capitalism, right? You know, candlelight, you're generating your own type, you're churning your own butter, you're doing things you gotta do on your own, so. Yeah, if you're not Amish, don't bitch about capitalism. Shout out to my Amish people out there. Flakes. oh no, the forecast said that there be snowflakes, whoa. Make us see it your way, no way Gasoline and propane, more flames Oh no, no more snowflakes We can all get along, but there's no stopping Everybody's wrong, that's the real problem They don't wanna hear it, but they still talking Soon enough, we running out of options This ain't gonna end till it's in the coffin We ain't gonna be friends till we try to squash it I don't know how we can make amends or we drop it. Snowflakes melt when it's hot, kid. Y'all are so fake. Oh no, the forecast said that there be snowflakes. Whoa, you can make us see it your way. No way, gasoline and propane, more flames. Oh no, no more snowflakes. Snowflakes melt when it's hot kid probably saying like they they won't be able to take it when shit the real shit hits the fan yeah or like he's just basically saying snowflakes are easily triggered like yeah. you know when you say something that upsets them they melt you know? you know and uh tom mcdonald snowflakes i mean you know solid i, I see what he was doing uh, that pre hook was a little swaggy, you know. The pre but, but, but uh, I mean, he like used a the little, A flow. Hey, 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 but the bum, but the bum, but the bum, hey, but the bum, but the bum, but the bum, but the bum, but the Commonly used uh, rap technique in trap music. The A, you put the A in between things. The A um, ad lib. But yeah, so you know, I mean, 
Compared to a lot of his other uh, controversial music, I see what he was doing here. Although I'm gonna say, I probably wouldn't replay this song again out of just, you know, enjoying it as a song song, regardless if I agree with the messages or not, just because mm -hmm. sonically it doesn't really speak to me. Um, and you know, I believe at this point in Tom's career, it just kind of sounded like, you know, and I'm not saying this is where he's at now, but it just sounds like he's just reusing a lot of the same stuff he's always talking about and saying it differently, which is fine. I'm not complaining about it. It's just something I notice. And this one just didn't really capture me. I probably wouldn't think the song is as dope as I, I think it is right now if it wasn't for this visual. Yeah, yeah, the visual definitely helps. It's a lovely visual. Yeah, I gotta agree with you. I probably wouldn't replay this song even if I agree with a lot of what he was saying mm -hmm. or some of the things he's saying, um, you know, sonically and uh, rap wise, he could phrase it in a way that I would enjoy it more, which he has done in other songs, all right? Mm -hmm. But this just isn't the one for me. Um, but hey, man, overall, it's an amazing piece of work. You know, I mean- Very good artistically. You know, very good artistically, always getting his point across, always making sure he's being very articulate about what he's saying, which I appreciate. Visuals are fire, you know? So, you know, kudos to him, man. He's definitely a great artist. Genius marketing, having that famous trans woman in his video. Yeah. It also depends on the type of person you are. If you're like a type of person who's like, constantly watching right versus left videos or you believe you're either all right or all left or you really you know these kind of like issues like really are something you're always thinking about i'm gonna be real with y'all i don't think about this shit you know you know i think about my art my family i think about supporting my family through my art and making my dreams come true and mm. you know or whatever these things aren't constant thoughts that go on in my mm. mind maybe they come in my mind from time to time mm. but because they're not constantly flowing in my mind personally it's not a song that i'm gonna play over and over again no. if especially if it's not one that captures me melodically as a song yeah i gotta agree with my brother on this i don't think about these things all the time i do think about these things from time to time you know and as i get older and make future plans of having family things like that i think about them a little more you know about the world my children are coming into yeah um but uh oftentimes i'm just focused on my family i'm focused on my art focused on these reactions you know if the song is not catching me from a song point of view, like I want to bump it, I like the way they're structuring their song, the way it sounds, I probably won't listen to it again. You know what I mean? But this was a fun watch, man. I enjoyed it for wow. what it was. You and know? that was Tom McDonald's Snowflakes. If you found any value from this video or you're just entertained, please like, comment, and subscribe because we just hit 10K subscribers. We're hyped. Next, let's go for 20. Thanks a lot, everyone. With that being said, I'm Trix the Hooligan. And I'm Jules the Buddha Monk. And we are Straw Hat Dynasty. Dynasty. Your favorite rapping. Breaking. Twins from NYC. Peace. Peace.